It is getting cold out. It's just this pump. So I've got to string it through here. Fueling up this side here, and I've got to string it across to that side over there. 578.9, so it's almost, almost 580 liters. Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? Another new day, we're in Saskatchewan. We just delivered in Carlisle. We're headed up to Big R, B-I-G-G-A-R. Just sort of west of Saskatoon. It's gonna be a little while to get there. Just over five hours from where we are here in, where are we? Whitewood, Whitewood. Our day has begun a little while ago already. I already delivered the, the first drop in Carlisle and I'm on my way to Big R right now. So come on along with me, it's gonna be fun. Lots of flat, exciting terrain today. Did any of you get to see that total eclipse last week? I didn't get to see it up here in Canada. I didn't want to look at the sun, but uh, I heard that if you had the glasses, that you could look at it and you could actually see the moon, and that we had a partial eclipse here in southern Canada. That's pretty interesting. I was listening to the news as uh, the path of totality, as they called it, moved across the United States. It sounded pretty exciting. I wish I could have seen that. That would have been super cool. It's supposed to happen again in 35 years or something, right? Maybe next time I can make it a point of uh, taking a trip, a little vacation to where I can see it. You know, if you guys think back to last week when the eclipse happened, I'm filming on that day. Wasn't that a good news day? You notice that? I noticed that while the eclipse was going on, that's all they were talking about on all the stations everywhere in Canada and the States. It's all about the eclipse and how awesome it was and how surreal it was. Wasn't it nice to have like almost half a day of just positive news with them talking about how awesome one event is, how everyone came together regardless of their political affiliations or political leanings. They all came together and everyone was just in the single moment together saying, wow, cool. Wouldn't it be nice if every day could be like that? I don't know, oh, that's what I was thinking. Cause usually I watch the news and I just get fed up. I'm like, it's, it's either bias one way or the other way, plainly. They don't even try to hide it anymore. Like either right or left, both of them. It's so hard to just listen to it because it just gets you mad, right? It's almost like their their goal for the day when they get to work in the morning, these news people, is to see how many people they can upset. Or see how they can further their political agenda for their organization, right? Today was just a really nice day of just everyone coming together and saying, hey, that's awesome. That was really nice. I wish we could have more days like that. Just arriving here to the Flying J in Balgoni, Saskatchewan. Balgoni Baloney. Stopping for a quick little break here. Not getting fuel or anything, but I need to go inside and use some facilities. It is getting cold out. A little bit nipply out here tonight. Man, I wonder how this light is like flickering on and off. Spooky. I'm here in Big R, Big R, Bigger, Big R, B I G G A R, Saskatchewan, Big R. We'll just call it Big R. Sort of like cigar, but Big R. Just fueling up the truck here at the Petro Pass. I'm trying to see if I can park here overnight. You see all the space back here? I think I'm gonna go line myself up along the edge over there and just spend the night here. Uh, my customer is just around the corner. I gotta be there for 9.30 tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be there for nine. See if they'll take me a little bit early. I might even show up at 8.30, who knows. The pumps we got here are one of these old school pumps that uh, there's no satellite pump, eh? So it's just this pump. So I've gotta string it through here fueling up this side here, and I've got to string it across to that side over there. Only one pump, old school, Canadian style. Strung it across there, I'll show you what it looks like here. See, from all the way up there, 
down to here. This side, you pull it on in here. And there you go, you can hear it hitting the bottom of the tank. It was pretty empty again. I'm just gonna hold it off of the exhaust there. It's pretty hot, hot exhaust. Do they have any pumps like this in the States anymore? These are all over Canada. Not too common anymore. I mean, like, you don't see them all the time, all the time, but they're around. You run into them. I don't know about you guys, but today seemed like a bit of a shorter day. It was pretty much a full day, but it feels like I just started. I'm not even tired yet. I just... Oh, it's because I had a nap. Remember, I stopped in the middle of the day and had a nap. I wasn't feeling so good this morning, but after I stopped flying Jay there and visited inside, I guess I just started to feel better from there. Huh. Good. Well, I'm feeling great now. That means I'm going to be extra super duper rested tomorrow. Good, because I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. I got to deliver my freight here, and then we got to go to Lethbridge, Alberta. Hopefully, deliver that. That's about six, seven hours from here. Six hours from here. We got to deliver that freight tomorrow afternoon yet before they close, and then we got to drive into BC. We're going to Fernie, BC. I've got another piece to deliver there. I got to do that Wednesday morning and then I have no idea. Maybe I'll go up to Kelowna from there. I know we usually have freight coming out of Kelowna. We'll see. We'll see what the load gods have in store for me. What's it say there? 578.9, so it's almost, almost 580 liters. $547.11 Canadian. I'm guessing that would probably be about $460 American, just guessing. You want to see how good I am at guessing conversion prices or conversion Canadian to US? So how much did I say it was? 547, right? Let's make sure I get the right number. 547. Yes. $547. Stop dinging at me. Okay. So what we do now is we go to Google. 547 dollars CAD that means Canadian dollars to USD US dollars the final answer is drum roll well I was off by a little bit the, it equals uh, four hundred and thirty five dollars and seventy nine cents US you can see that there I don't think it's gonna focus there So how much is that? That's uh, $25 off. Not too bad of a guesstimate. Eh? Need to work on my guessing skills a little bit, but. All right, let's see if we can park in the parking lot here somewhere. I wanna go back there. Fueled up tonight, so I don't gotta worry about it tomorrow. Sorry, Diesel had to close your window there. All the bugs are getting in. All right, all right. Let's park this baby. Oh, the radio's on. Uh, I guess I could park over here. I could make a home out of this. Goes pretty, pretty far back here. Okay, I don't want to be in the way. I think I might park beside this grain hauler up here. Gotta make sure I stay out of the way. Come on, man, go do your thing, man. Go have fun. Not over there, buddy. Let's let's come over here. Come on. My trailer is just uh, releasing all the air. Whenever you pull the trailer brakes on some of these trailers, they uh, lower the suspension right away, let all the air out of the bags. If you're wondering where the rest of the footage is, I'm as confused as you. <laughs> Sitting here editing here in my office at home. I edit these uh, a few days afterwards, right? So I'm getting the work done here. And I even said it in the vlog earlier that, oh man, this felt like a really short day. Because it really felt like I didn't pick up my camera much that day. It just felt like the day just flew by, right? This is all the footage I got. I've looked through everything, my whole week's footage. I thought that there had to be at least something, even a clip saying, 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Nothing. I dropped the ball on this vlog. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope tomorrow will be better. I have my whole week's worth of vlogs here that I'm editing. And it looks like I didn't get much, as much footage as I thought most days. But, uh... <clears throat> These are the weeks where I sort of learn from myself. I learn what works and what doesn't. I'm trying this new this new theory or this new pattern of working where I film while I'm on the road, I work, 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 and I get home on the weekend and I edit everything at home while Brit's at work. However, it seems this way that my footage either gets lost or disappears or I just don't film enough. I don't know. No excuses, guys. I apologize for today. This is the vlog. As a creator, uh, when I have a day like this, I've had these many, many, many times in the past. I've been doing this for about five, six years already. I don't get the footage I need. It motivates me to do better in future videos. So you always know if it's a bit of a short vlog and you're sort of like, really, that's it? You probably know that down the road, a couple of days down the road or so, there's going to be a lot more footage because that's that, that's just sort of how it, it works with me. If if I feel like I didn't get enough, I'll do more than enough the next day. Or at least I'll try to. I always try to better myself. But, you know, it's sort of like a up and down thing with daily vlogging. So, anyways, this is the vlog for today. I hope you did enjoy the footage I did get for you. Tomorrow's another video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss one. I film my life as a truck driver. I drive across all of Canada and the United States, and I film my life at home too. Whatever I happen to be doing that day is what makes it into my camera. Just like after this, after I'm done edit editing this, I'm gonna go practice some catwalks on my quad. I, I've, just, I've been thinking about it all day already. I'm gonna go, cause I have to do something while I wait for this thing to render, right? So I think I'm gonna go do some catwalks. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.